Hello, this is Doris Sander with Coco Daisy, and I'm doing my usual flip through and set up video for my Daisy Dories, but it's a little bit different because it's early for one thing. <laughs> How exciting! And I'm not quite finished with my September. And I have some new ideas in my October that I'm very excited about. So let me just go ahead and get started with those. Um, I think most of you have noticed if you've been watching for the last few months, probably since the summer, I have been struggling with my getting things done. <laughs> I have and you know that happens you start out in January gung-ho about your goals and things and then you get derailed for whatever reason and just need a change to get back in the flow of things again I think so I'm pretty excited about some changes I made for October so um, still going strong with my happiness page or gratitudes or blessings or whatever you want to call it I call it happy. Um, this is a new idea that I had in September and you can see I didn't use it and that's okay um, because I mean this happens to me a lot. I'll have an idea and it'll take two or three months for me to actually get the idea in action. So starting something and not finishing it is not always a bad thing. It just means it takes longer to get the plan going so I mean I still have another week in September so I may use this um, and when you see what I've got going on in here you'll see why I may end up using this as brainstorming for this one and that actually happens to me a lot too I don't I don't get a new idea up off the ground when I first start it and then I use it for brainstorming for the next month you know it works for me eventually this is just um, a set of the week on one page and the day, a daily sheet from the personal planner pages that I put in as a tip in. And I was going to use it to brainstorm goals, and I think I still will, but I'll just be brainstorming and not actually, you know, going through with it. Um, this is my goal page. And I'm actually doing well on several of these and some not so much, per usual, but I hope to address that in here. Um, this page went well. This is my, well, sort of it went well. It's filled in, um, but I didn't, I only did two things on the list. Um, so that's one of the problems is I'm making lists, but not actually doing them. And this is just a random list that I did a few days ago. I saw one of my Instagram peeps was crocheting. I'm like, oh, it's about crochet season. I need to get that out. So I wrote some ideas of things I want to do. My cats are going to love it. Oh. My YouTube page still is working very well for me. Um, but nothing happened over here. And it might not. Um, my scouting page I didn't quite get to. I mean, we did this thing, but I didn't brainstorm any of the other things like I was supposed to. My crafting page, once again, making lists and not doing anything with them. Shameful. And then there's the home page that never even gets lists. <laughs> but my house isn't a pigsty, I swear. Uh, this page I need to work on. I'm not sure what I want to put on here, but I'll journal something. Um, before October finishes and my quote page I don't know what happened here this is the first month that I haven't just filled it up I mean you know that I've been doing well on this one so I don't know school school's getting to me I guess um, but I do have one quote that I've written down that I want to put in here so I might just make it fancy you know and church notes once again half side I got a blank page here um, my book sheet did pretty well. I'm actually um, on my fourth book for the month. Or is it? No, I'm on my fifth book for the month. So I did really well with books this month. I haven't done this journaling yet. 
And this is another one of those, the ideas. Um, I think I was going to use it to brainstorm home tasks so that I could just refer back to them. And I still want to do that. So I'll probably, like I said, use this for brainstorming so that I can like pre-write and then do the real thing in here. So my planning pages and this is another thing that's been changing. Um, I mentioned last month that I'm I'm having trouble. In the past, I used these first two boxes for school. I'm a teacher. And this was my morning and my afternoon schools. And then this was errands after school and evening tasks. And that worked really well for quite some time. But this past year, I've started using a bullet journal for work. So I don't use these. Why is it blurry? I don't know. Is it? There you go. Um, so I wanted to show you the evolution of an idea. So this second, this is the second, the first full week of September. Um, I put a stamp there for I think it was walking yeah and so I was checking it off so I stamped at the beginning of the week and I either checked or X'd it if I walked that day and that was a good visual reminder and it was also I was working on coming up with ideas to fill these boxes and then the next week I, I got my Fitbit, so that started to motivate me, so I didn't need to keep up with the walking in here. So I started making this little box to try to do a task before school because I had, you know, 10 or 15 extra minutes in the morning, so I was trying to do a little housework, and that worked well, so I just wrote in there if I managed to do something. And this box was for my iron pills, that's what it was reminding myself to take my iron pills. So then I got clever. I started um, lifting my son's little eight pound weights. So I added that. So I have iron pills and weights and morning tasks. So I think I'm doing so well. I'm going to add two of these little label boxes next time and have two morning tasks. So yeah, that's just um, a little idea for you of ways you can use your space. So this is this coming week tomorrow, which, you know, I kind of wish tomorrow was another day off, but anyway, it's not. <laughs> so I have it set up for the week per usual. And you can see what the little stamping, and I really like that I'm using my stamps more. That's fun. And then this is things that my son said and my post-it note, or my notepad. So you can see I got some work to do and some of these pages I'll get filled in and some I won't, and that's okay. But this is October. And this isn't as done as I would normally show you, but I think after a couple of weeks, I'll come back like the second week of October and give you an update on how the new things are working out. So number one, I'm really liking the little bit of puffy sticker. They started getting those in September with Coco Daisy. So I used those again. And I'm still loving the packing tape on the spine. It makes the dashboard stick better and I think it reinforces it nicely. So I'm definitely gonna go back and do this to all of my Daisy Dories before I put them away for the year. And yay, the Day in the Life kit had a Monday start calendar. So I like to put those in here when they're available because I really like a Sunday start calendar visually, but for my weeklies, I like a Monday start for the work week. So yeah, it just makes a nice reference having both. Um, these are the post-it notes, like the cutest thing I've ever seen. This woodlock post-it note is so clever. <laughs> 
uh, my happy list. This, this is what I'm excited about, y'all. It's a pocket. I just stuck it on with packing tape. And I was careful. Um, it only goes about a quarter inch on this side, so that I can still write on the page. But on this side, I just went ahead and covered the whole front with packing tape. And then this is a set of the Week at a Glance pages. And I'm going to use these to kind of motivate myself to get my goals done. So every week has a, well not that one, every week has a goal page. So I'm going like to make notes there for the week and then write down the things I do to meet those goals. I'm pretty excited about this idea. And like I said, I'll probably the second week in October, I will give you an update how that's going, but I'm pretty excited. I love this idea. So that's my goal pocket. And then this is um, the same thing as always. These are just my brainstorming pages basically but I was really careful to think through them and try to make things that um, I want to stick with and things that um, I need to stick with and just more detailed. So like instead of the whole double page spread for home that never gets filled out, um, I did gardening too because um, it's about to hit fall here and I need to get some things done outside so I'll be more ready this spring bring. This is my go page where I put down all of the places that we want to see and do. Keep up with those. And on this side is my, um, it's kind of a fall bucket list. And I'm going to use some of these stickers for the bucket list. Like we're going to go on a sunset um, boat ride at the state park and pumpkin patch and um, hiking and collect, you know, these are fun things for a bucket list. So I'm going to make a cute bucket list on this side with those and some other things I have. And then my YouTube, this is like a staple now. It works so well for me. Um, photos, I gave them their own page. I need to get my iPhone photos under control. Scouting, I have a bunch of things to plan, so I left that a double page spread. And crafting, double page spread as well. With an extra page for overflow, like the crochet. And then this is my son's birthday, is in October. So I need to brainstorm what he wants to do for that and what things we want to get him. Usually, since his birthday is in October, we go ahead and brainstorm the list of things he needs and wants and then some for birthday and some for Christmas kind of thing and then my wish list down here my book list and I think on here I'm going to put a TBR list and you know I had to look that up I had to figure it out when I started watching book review videos but to be read so I'm gonna make it myself a TBR for October because, you know, this is crunch time. I'm, you know, wanting to read 52 books a year, and I did it the last two years running. But I always get behind and have to crank them out in December. So, yeah. Like, I'm at 26, and I read four, so I'm at 30. I'm at 30 books, and I have to get 52 by the end of December. So, i got to get busy. Got to make a plan so I can get busy. And here's the other one. This is my sermon notes page per usual. And I made another one of those clever pockets. Yay. And this one is for um, Bible verses. I'm doing a um, challenge with Krista, somebody or other on YouTube. I'll have to look it up. Um, and I'm not doing very well. So I thought since this was marked for the days, that would motivate me to 
do one a day and then the space in between I can use for, you know, notes and things. You know, if we go to church on Wednesday night or I need overflow for Sunday or whatever. That'll work nicely. My quotes, my journaling prompts, and then my planner pages. And I made some notes for things I need to include. Yeah. And then this is the last day in October, trick or treat day. Forward planning for November. And these are upcoming movies, so it's part of forward planning. And then I want to do Allie's Day in the Life, which is October 27th. So I put another tip in. I thought I could make notes here and on this. That would be fun. And the things my son says are on this page and my notepad. So this is, um, I'm ready to go. I'm ready to start, but I obviously have a lot of things to transfer in from September, all my notes to start making. And September's not quite done, but I wanted to show you my new ideas in case anyone got some inspiration from them. And Again, I will be back in a couple weeks to share an update on this and how it's working so far. Thanks for watching, and I will chat with you soon. Bye.